China They brought their palava So I can fix it for them But what I don't understand Why should they make palava For this Ratka woman Who is called Tala Is it Papa Kamasoka All the sun Tala Wala Pisa Badi says Tonda Who owns Tala Send for each and every one today And tell them everyone will be here You will see the cheetah will stay away The true husband will appear We will see, we will see We will know who is he That's just what I'm gonna do We will find out the truth I sent for Kame, I sent for Gona I sent for Palawala I sent for Kama Soko And we know who is who This time if I catch you, I swear I'm finished with you The first time I caught you, your boyfriend used to call you Lala Again I have caught you, now it's a bank of cassava
Everybody, the people on the mall, the kind of money people say so can show everybody with pride and dignity will be walking goo goo goo. The people will say, Poppy, move from here with your poopoo mall. So everybody know that dog can pretend, but cat can pretend. This is the reason why I come to tell you I'm a dog. My attitude is different. Anything I want to do, I do it in the open. I want to do my thing, I don't have from people. Son of God, dear boy, he's a very bold man. So for you all there, you acting that you holy mirror, acting like the Pope. You doing your thing, you hiding it, you doing your thing, you sneaking. Anybody want to do a thing, let them do it, I'm a dog. I don't pretend to people you see. I'm a real nigga girl. I don't pretend to people. So girls and women in the town they can all let the perfect when they see their husband they around they put their hand between their legs and all they holding Mary. They walking with the husband and they see anybody passing they will put their mother on their walk around till she wears it but how they wear she dressing so. But check them all, all the hotels and motor in the city they know them. They know it by the names and the places they located. The boyfriend more than twelve, the girl by more than seven, then they own me on the side. 
Anything they buy, they say my brother credit ill. You see the kind of left the living when they see the Hopo Joe then landed on the road. They look at the other one, the hat she will lay. We're better to be a Hopo Joe moving in the street. Everybody identify you to be a Hopo Joe. You sitting in a horse, you said you are married. Sneaking whole day, doing nya nya thing, doing day day thing. It better to be a Joe. Everybody know you by that, but don't pretend to be perfect. Why you doing your babbling thing? I'm a door. I don't pretend to people, I'm a door. I'm a real door. I don't pretend to people I'm a dog. I'm a Nicky dog. So nigga, you say what? Charlie, listen, I'm not beeping you my hair. Your ear switch off or the fire from my mouth. I'm a dog. I'm a real dog. I don't pretend to people I'm a dog. I'm a real way. I'm a dog. Listen, my people, let me tell you the other one. So many in the town, they won't bring the ghetto down. They say all the grown up border, they can come from the ghetto. All the people who can speak can come from the ghetto. But other than the scene, when they go to their houses, they sit in the bathroom. They take their cooking from the pocket, smoke a goo goo. They take their opinion too, then they smoke a goo goo. They take the pepper man. When they finish licking them, my body come outside. You see the apple ray ray, jet a flying eagle. Then they talk about grown up ball. Grown up ball can smoke. Grown up ball from the ghetto, we will bring the ghetto down. It's better for the people to know you can smoke. Get no high in your horse and make your heart to load up a passing hole. When you check the whole thing on the ghetto ball we lay, why you die from long problem because your smoking is more than the ghetto man. You can pretend to people you are cat. But I'm a dog. I don't pretend to people I'm a dog. All the ghetto men and they adore. They don't pretend to people they adore. They are real dog. They don't pretend to people they adore. They are real Nicky dog. That's what people call me wait, sometimes they call me boo, you Congo people call me puppy. The French man can call me chien, German man call me shepherd. My man Brutini can call me fresque. But I'm a dog. I'm a real dog. I don't pretend to people I'm a dog. I'm a real nigga dog. Yeah, dog. You dog, you dog. No matter where you eating. But when you cat, you cat. Can't let pretend you see. Do younger you see? Loving around they get tall, they not tall because they always cat. You see? When you cat, you cat. Simple. When you want fat, fat, let me smell it. Don't have your fat because you say you want have fat for what? You go in the ruin, then you go fat. You killing yourself. Come as you fat. That one you do because dog can waste it can fat. Are you ever see dog fat before? No. Because what? When dog fat, that one that extra pollution. Everywhere you spend it, that one you know, he said, we'll spend it, what the dogs? Because that dog fat, can never fat. Have you ever seen cat fat before nose? Because what? Cats like, like a woman. No woman then, they can grow small, small. They marry, put the ring there, no problem with greed. But you in the night, everywhere, in the corner then, bending in the darkness, acting like a cat. Cat, you know dog. You are naked cat. You see? You see, I'm on door. Anything I eat, that one, that dog business. Anything I do, we do it like a dog. That one, anytime you see me, I wear my baby shoe. I don't fear no one doing my thing. So people in the town, yeah, they tell all they are holy. All the cross in the world, they won't, they can wear it. All the well-well clothes you see, they won't, they can wear it. When you talk about God being it, all the Bible, they can read it. They tell them people, say, that shall not do this, that shall not do that. When you talk about girlfriend being it, they get it more than you. When you talk about boyfriend being it, that one just leave it with them. You talk about homosexual, that one by the lucky two way. You talk about lesbianism, in that one dead at the job. But every Sunday morning, when they take the holy Bible, that one that's so big that they say, boy, can get to check. When they wear the wear gun, you will tell, but in your mark, then they go 
up on the pulpit, they say, do what I say, but don't do what I do. So many in the town, yeah, they sitting off the seat. They stealing people money. When they see the grown up border, then they put their mother on it. The grown up border rule. The grown up can steal. You sit in the office, you stealing country money. You brought the grown up ball, all of you that rule. The one who steal my cell phone and run away, and you, all of you that rule. Rogue that rule. The rogue to ready the.
and see all of you. Particularly those students, those non-traditional students. I was non-traditional as well. When I look out to see you, I see America. I see the America of possibility. I see the America of dreams fulfilled. I see the America that's worth every bit of our energy, our blood, our sweat, and our tears. For giving me the opportunity to participate in this great moment in your lives, and reminding me of my life, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And good luck to each other. All American Congressional 1966, with
You are a man of your word, and I am proud of you. Simply steady on what you did it. Thank you very much. Yeah, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You 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 Let's go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They
Don't talk about me now. I'm about to go. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Go ahead, go ahead. They were my other friend. They were the best 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 friend. He said before you can go to school that somebody will help you to go there. That they will want to call all the way to the school. So the old man says, I don't care how you go. That they can give you a phone and a book or do something good. They said the way she is sitting down to her. What is it? Then we might hear that I miss it. But it will be a I'm going to go to the bottom of 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 the Badona, Moussa Bele, Badona, Comadi Bella, 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 Badona, Okay. No, no, no. Where's the daddy? Where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? Where's my tea? Where's your daddy? 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 Where's your daddy?
Okay, well, that's, that's nice. <laughs>
thank you very much. Okay, I have a seat. I have a seat for a refreshment. Please have a seat for a refreshment. first table right here and we'll proceed in our order. Uh, uh, thank you. So, I will So, I will be able to get
Mr. Reeves made us who we are. Mr. Reeves was a very tough teacher. He taught us a useful lesson in life. And today, we are profiting from that. And so, Mr. Reeves, it's my honor and pleasure to recognize your presence in this audience. I also uh, believe that during the course of Mr. Sacco's uh, sojourn, uh, well, brief stay in Guinea, she was part of an organization known as the, like, the Organization of Liberian Students Association in Guinea. And one of the members of that organization that put that together, I call him one of the architects, is Mr. Darame. Uh, he was one of those who stood the test of time and uh, was able to put together an organization. And this organization was very instrumental in seeking scholarship opportunities for Liberian students that went to Guinea in exile. And so I'm saying all of this today to say that the little here and there made it possible today for this young lady to graduate in spite of all the difficulties, in spite of everything that was going on, to be able to go to school in the United States and get a degree in nursing. This is an achievement. And like I said, in no particular order, one of the person, that final person I want to recognize is Mrs. Elizabeth Poor. She is one of those people who, during uh, the refugee situation in the beginning, she helped a lot of Liberia in ways that, you know, a lot of people here don't know. She had money and all kinds of support during those difficult days. And one of the, one of the persons she touched was the graduate. I want to recognize the good that you did during those days that certainly paid off. And I do thank you for that. And so without much ado, and please, if I, if I left you out, um, it, it was a time we're so hard pressed to move on. And uh, I just, this is going to be real brief. I know, you know, we have to dance till tomorrow morning. And so I'm just going to try to keep it brief. Uh, we have, we're going to have an opening prayer. The opening prayer will be done by one of our brothers. Brother Bamba Sharif, please come up and open, you know, give us a, give us a, a word. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Well, we are here tonight on a happy night. That our sister and our wife and our daughter graduate in the graduation program. We're here to thank everybody who left this job and left this room to come here and attend to this. We are very happy to meet you people. Y'all are showing us that we are a human being, that we can live for y'all and be able to sustain whatsoever we are looking for. But in the name of Allah, we ask God for forgiveness for every one of y'all who took your time to come here. And here your return should be a successful one. And after you leave from here, everybody who got a warrant in, what you have, everybody with your warrant So we come out to this a lot. Al-Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahmanirrahim. Maliki yomdin. Iyaka na abdu wa iyaka na stahim. Ihidina shulata di mustahim. Shulata ladina na amta alihi. Gaya li makili ubi alihi wa rajwa alihi. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for that. Uh, our welcome statement, which will also be very brief, will be delivered by Mr. Darame. 
he will officially open the uh, flow of things uh, in this hall tonight. So, Mr. Darwin.
I immediately sent all the credentials to a World Educational Center in New York where we got the, uh, all the necessary documents and the next thing I said, okay, get ready, we're going to the uh, community college, you're going to take a placement test. There's no excuse. All right, I want to hold on until you graduate, then I, I can start. No, we all want to go together. Now, what I want to tell you tonight is that the, uh, the graduate actually played a major role in my academic life. If you have a partner that going to school together with you, and I should tend to be smarter than you, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, the graduate was actually competing with me, and every time, the secret that I want to tell you tonight is that, you know, every time, we took tests, I would be the first person to ask the graduate and say, well, how much did this go from, the, you know, from that test? Then I will keep on. If she said, well, I, I got B and I got, I got A, then I said, oh, okay, well, I got A. Since you got B. <laughs> but if it is the other way around, you know, if I got my, you know, if I got lower grade and she got the A, I said, no, I'm not getting my grade, you know, my grade from my professor. <laughs> I'm a graduate tonight. is married to someone by the name of Joe Sacco. And she is blessed with four beautiful children. Yeah. Yeah. So, to have children that she can go to school, you know, so she has like a three full-time jobs at the same time. You know that well that she takes, you know, care of the children. That's another full-time job by itself. Another full time job is to go to school full time and also work full time. So that is the kind of way she actually managed to pass, you know, to complete her study. Our graduate, graduated from the Community College with Summa Cum Laude. And fortunately for her, she was able to get a scholarship to go to Drexel University, where she graduated from one of the prestigious universities in America today with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And now, and now the graduate is now serving as a staff nurse at Lower Morse County Hospital. So, Without spending much of your time, I would like to you know, present to you our honorary of the night. DJ, before she comes up, then oh, you have to play music. music. <laughs> <laughs> I want to present to you the honorary of the night, my soulmate, the love of my life. Simon Jinian Sako.
excited to see people. Please pay me attention. see all these people flying from all over America to be here tonight to celebrate this day with me. I'm very, very excited. First of all, I want to say thanks to the Almighty Allah for making me to stand before you here today. <laughs> January 14th of last year, 2008, I couldn't have been able to be here, standing here tonight because I had a, a mini stroke. All of a sudden, one morning, I just found myself sick, one side paralyzed, phone talk. I had to take time from school. to get myself situated again. And um, I said, you know what, I'm almost done. I have to do it. So, after I took treatment for a while, I think for three months, then I went back to school. So I tell God, thank you for giving me that time, the chance again. So, share this time with you tonight. Special thanks go to my mom, Sarah Jimmy. My mom is an extraordinary woman. Very brilliant, even though she didn't go to school. But she's very intelligent, very kind. I can go on and on. Mom, thank you so much for being there for me. Thanks for taking care of my kids while I'm away. My baby doesn't even know me. Because I was always in school. From school, I'm going to work. When she was one month old, I had to go back to Drexel to go to school. And um, mom had to take care of her. She was always there when my friends come from anywhere and to the house she'll serve them and when I'm not there. All my friends, my family, she took care of all my kids through this time. So mom, I love you. Thank you. A big thank you goes to my lovely husband. Joe is my best friend my soulmate, my love, and my editor-in-chief. <laughs> you know, when Joe came here from Houston, he was attending the Community College of Philadelphia. When he started going to school, one night he asked me, baby, when are you going to go back to school? And I told him, baby, my brain is too old to school. He said, no, baby, that's a lie. You can go back to school. I know you're brilliant. You can do it. So I started giving all the excuses. I don't even have paper to go to school in this country. <laughs> the next thing I know, my diploma came in the mail from WES. He sent all my credentials to WES, processed all my papers, and I saw my diploma in the mail. He said, now you don't have any excuses. <laughs> he got a, I think it was a teacher version of uh, beginning algebra from his uh, instructor. And he said, now go ahead and practice. 
you're going to take the uh, placement test next week. I said, oh my God, that's too early. <laughs> I've been out of school since, I don't know, 10, 20 years. I ha you have to give me a little bit of time. And I started practicing in math and I said, oh, maybe I think it's still there, my brain is still working. So I went and took the test, passed the test, and uh, I started from the Navy College of New York. And through that time, all from that time on, Joe has been there for me. Anytime I <laughs> Every time, all my papers, he would edit them for me. I am not a computer person. He's the computer man. I'm typing, I mean, I typing, I would look for A and B and... So sometimes I say, you know what, Joe, I have too much to study. I write my paper, can you please type it for me? I said, baby, I think you have to do it because if I do it for you, you're not going to be able to know how to type. And I would get so mad with him. I said, I have all these things to study. Say, try and, 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 and type. And he was always there. Two o'clock in the morning, I would wake Joe up. He said, I have this uh, paper due, and uh, I just put time in. Everything got lost. I don't know what to do. I have to uh, 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 submit this paper tomorrow morning. He said, oh my God. I said, well, before you graduate from the nursing school, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, <laughs> you will not be dead. We will do it together. Joe, he did it. Yay! Yeah, support, baby. I love you and I always will. My kids, Martila, Husseino, Mamu, and Lucene. Thanks for understanding me. That is the only person I'm working. Sometimes there's no birthday cake. I said, baby, this birthday, I think I owe you birthday cake, but <laughs> there's no money to, to throw a party. All right, mommy. Thank you, baby. I love you. I have two mothers. My Elizabeth Bow. You know, I met uh, Sister Elizabeth in Guinea, uh, Zedekuri, the refugee camp. When I met her at the refugee camp, she just took me as a daughter. So when um, her sister, Faith Davis, sent for her from this country, I mean, sent for Grandpa, I mean, he's so rest in peace. He died last year, I think December of last year. I wish he was here to share this moment with me tonight. May he so rest in peace. Um, Sister Elizabeth, so you're my daughter. You're going with my uh, 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 father and self. All right. And she made it possible. And made me come into this country. So any accomplishment that I own in this country, a credit goes to her. Thank you, Thank you so much for sharing uh, me when I first arrived in this country. I was staying with Faith Davis for I think six or seven months before I could move for my Auntie Esther. Thanks, Faith. Thank you so much. And the entire Paul family, Philip, James Paul, um, Paul, I'm always, I'll always be part of your family. Any comic event, anything the boss are ha uh, having, come in. Good, bad, happiness, please come in. I'm part of you forever. I'm blessed to be married to disciples. They have been very supportive of me. My mother-in-law, fantastic sister. Thanks for all your prayers and encouragement.
Jurassic Park. That's Travel. Jurassic Park is white. And Mr. and Mrs. Amadou Sako, they couldn't make it here tonight, but they sent contribution. Amen. Any at all. Anything that's for around the house, my brother-in-law, Lassana Sako, that lives in the Pocono, he will come and do all the handiwork in the, in, in the house. <laughs> But he he has always been there for us. Thanks, Mr. Sako. I really appreciate it. Most be handsome. Every time when my mortgage is short, <laughs> I call and say, Amson, this money is tough. Joe is the only person that's working. You I say, go to Western UN in an hour. I'll send it. <laughs> Every time he comes from Virginia, he will walk in the refrigerator. He say, baby, let's go to the to the store. He will spend $200, two hundred dollars, two to three hundred dollars for uh, for food, and just cut everything before he goes back. Thanks, I know it's payback time. I really appreciate it. And I could go on and on and. Uh, Abe Amara Sako, the entire Sako family, every time our uh, sister Mariam Sako, I don't know whether she's here, but uh, thank everybody for being there for me. I would need everybody that would not move from here because they found me so big. You know? family. Elizabeth Anto and her husband Big. Michael Scott and his wife Dorothy. Anthony Julian and his wife Monju. Augustus and Rachel. My little sim I call Aisha Lily. And Eric Coco, call them the, the Cocos. Thank you, guys. Shati Khan and Sister Lena, they couldn't make it from Boston tonight, I appreciate, I appreciate their, their uh, support. Betsy Khan, Josephine Scott, and say, Mommy, who traveled from all the way to uh, Ireland to share this moment with me? <laughs> My little brother, Jason, Janine, and Darlington. <laughs> Thank you. My brother-in-law, Abraham Jalo, that came from all the way to Boston to share this night with me. And say, Betsy, kind. Lawrence, Janine, thank everybody for being there for me. Every time I need gas or anything, I'll just call somebody and say, oh, sister, I'll be there to put gas in your car. I remember one time uh, I was supposed to go for an interview. And before you go for an interview, you have to have a, you have to dress in a book suit. And I look in my closet, and I, I need a little bit of weight, all my clothes suits were tight. So, I called Elizabeth, I said, I'm supposed to go for an interview, but, I mean, things are tough. She said, all right, sis, come on, let's go to Macy's. And she got me two suits. 
But each time I go, any of those students that go for an interview, I will get the job. So I call them my lucky students. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your support. I really appreciate it. My friends from family, all my friends, people that I work with in Frankfurt, I don't know whether anyone is here, but uh, I really appreciate all your support. My head, especially my head, <laughs> Patrick Sherry, Mommy Gaga, Nepal Java, Marion Swarry, they all understood that uh, I'm a student. <laughs> I'm in my head, let's say I'll call. Any, yeah, any one of them. Can you do my hair? They know that I don't have money. Sometimes they'll go buy the hair. I'll go there to do my hair and I'll just leave. I don't have money. They want to see me. Felicia Reed City, Alisa Rich, and Obisa. They just already did this talk tonight. Thank you guys for your help. Thank you, Nanny Bates. Thanks for always being there for me. Lulu Johnson. And Uncle Tony. My little sister, Vera Horn. We got Jacob and her husband. Um, Cecilia. <laughs> Thank you, Abdulim, everybody, Jeremy. Thank you very much for being there for me. Now I'm a, but when I graduated, there was no job available at that time. So uh, I'm at uh, Lower Bucks Hospital. And uh, I'm part of the Lower Bucks family now. Barbara Sherman, Marilyn Carlton, Shelly and Anna, they are my preceptors at the world, but making me to become a great ICU nurse. Thank you guys when you're here. I really appreciate your support. I could go on and on and on, but uh, we have to dance. So I just want to say thanks again to everybody, my uh, neighbor. Dave and Marie. Great. I, I remember when we had a pool. Joe showed you not, I mean, nothing about pool. Dave would just come over and pick out the pool, play in it, and do everything. They are the best neighbors I ever had. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So um, I hope everyone has a good time tonight. Yes, if I forget your name, it doesn't mean that you're not special to me. Hey, Koya, um, everybody, please, thank you. <laughs>
Thank you. I love you.
since I left the students and they are supposed to be graduating this year, they have no teacher. And if I stay behind to get a master's degree, those people will not graduate. And I will be left alone holding master's degree yes. without support. Yes. And so I went back to Latina. And so I went back. I find my bachelor's degree in education since about 15 years ago. It is as old as a magician's coat on my back. I am so happy yes. that every year, every now and then, my students, my former students are making progress and they got their masters. Yes. Some are uh, medical doctors. And so I'm, I, I get those degrees. Yes. Yes. Now, so that is, uh, got a, a degree in nursing. And that degree is also conferred on my life. Yeah. And I'm honored to be here. And so, you know, education pays. Uh, that thing that went on in Liberia that brought some of us here to come from Liberia uh, is an ugly thing. And it came about because the people are not educated. And so, I want all you like young men and women who are here. Don't mind the American dollar I beg you. Yeah. You're not gonna get it. I don't care how you work because they don't have their system. Why you are working for the money they are dividing it up. <laughs> By the time you know it again, you have nothing in your pocket. But if you get your education, when you are going, even the child you're loving, they will not find it there. We need you there. We need you there. Please get educated and go back to serve your country. Liberia is our country. Nobody will bear it for us. Only we can bear it the way we want it. So, I ask all of you young people, men, women, boys, especially boys, the little ones who are born here, they get that visit and get an education. Education is the best thing. My father and mother never went to school. But my children went to school. And I told them, I said, no. At the age of 18, if you are not out of high school, I will pull you out. <laughs> you were born in education. I was brought with education. So that's the difference. Then my daughter, that said, at the age of 18, you want to graduate from high school, I will kick you out of my house. <laughs> because education pays. And that's the best thing you can get from your father, you can get from your mother. And so, I. Uh, I feel better. You know, you have a distinguished husband. That's why you want to see your new dress. That's your best friend. That's your best husband. That's your best brother. And you did what you have done. Congratulations. So, Sagan.
Uh, this is the fall of the program planners, ourselves. There are actually two graduates simply sharing the stage with one of our best friends uh, by the name of Charlotte Birch. Birch. Ms. Birch is also a graduate. Uh, she received a degree in Bachelor of Arts in the field of nursing. And so, and so it also gives me a great, a great pleasure and honor to uh, recognize an achievement. Thank you. We do want to also thank you for the hard work and the tenacity to, 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 uh, to hang in there and do and, and, and what you've done tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. Sacco, and that person is none other than Mrs. Elizabeth Walker. When you see my child doing wrong, tell him what you're doing is wrong. Today, tomorrow, if he listens to you, we all will be lucky ones. Good. I met Joe. Yusuf, please stand up. Joe or Yusuf, I met him in Guinea. Simon, please stand up. I met These little kids came in a way in my way by lecturing or by going through as one Sherry has said. I like for my presence to go to God so I can get my reward. I don't want to say what all I have done. But when I met Joe and Sherry Mohammed, uh Darabed, what uh what's my other son name? Mama, all these people I met them in Guinea. We're not related, but everybody call me Oma. So then, no. No. from one thing to another, we all went to UN and Mango Mango and we got in. <laughs> but when we got in, my mother was my mother was very, very sick. May her soul rest in perfect peace. She was very sick. But simple. Joe and the rest of those are their name. It was like they and myself were from one mother and one father. My mother, oh, the old mama said, the old mama said. So I said, ah, oh. we put up a program. Joe and myself and Sherry, luckily we join you and with the African Muslim Agency. If you know what I know, like grandpa will let you walk on that thing. They used to say that woman, I cry woman, and she speak English, she's not my people woman. Why are she working way up? Joe said I'm going to bring her here. I won't move her from here. One thing I want to let y'all know tonight is we are all one. That's right. We are all still one. Before God and before Allah. So for this reason, when they came closer to me, I said, Semo, you my honor. I said, my father said for me, Joe, and my sister Faith, I want for you to come here. Uh come here, Faith come and our father passed in December. My other brother, James King, and then Faith King and Stevie, the late Stevie King, and she sent for me, she put my name on the list. I said, you know what? I'd rather have people that I don't know. I know me in 3,000 years, I will still go to America. Samuel said, you, Joe, 
and Sherry, then all of you are taking good care of me as a mother. Some of your name will be listed on the list. Seth was there, even other people's children that I didn't know, Nigerian, Ghanaians, I put your children in there because you don't know tomorrow. As I'm standing here tonight, my father, my brothers, my sister, we brought over 35 human beings in America. That we don't know, but you know today why? Some of them see us in the street like they don't know us, but that's life. They, don't, they won't stop me if I have the means of doing good still. So I'm proud and I'm happy that several, some people brought children in this America, your own child from your stomach. They in jail, they don't want to go to school. But Semo has made me a very proud mother.